and in this video I want to show you some some directions, some hints about doing the interactive slope assignment that's in your folder this week. So first of all, here's when you open up the Word document, it has directions on it, plus some questions to answer. And then over here on the right side, this is the website that you're going to go to. Sometimes when you click on this link, this Math Warehouse site takes you back to their homepage. So if it does, then just copy and paste it instead of clicking or follow these directions to get to this activity. So, and if you just can't get it to work, there's an alternate activity using Sketchpad that's already added to your assignment. So you can do that instead if you can't get this to work. All right, so let's assume that you can get it to work. You have to scroll down here to get to the actual applet, which is what we're going to be using. So we're going to explore the relationship between the slope formula and the graph of a line by clicking and dragging the interactive points below. The line between the points will change and so will the slope of that line. You can change some settings if you want. You, this is set to hundredths. You could change it to tenths. And you can slow this down or uh, speed it up if you want to. And this is for if you're going to write the equation of the line. So we don't want these checked at this time. We'll be talking about these next week in the week 13 folder. We do want the slope and we do want the um, rise and run to show. So be sure these are checked. I think that's the default. So here is the slope formula that we, that we will be learning about this week. You don't have to worry too much about it now, but what we're going to do is just practice moving the points around and seeing how the slope changes. This last calculation here is the slope of this line. So you can see that sometimes it's negative, sometimes it's positive, sometimes it's a fraction, a lot of times it's a fraction, sometimes this would simplify to 1, so sometimes it's an integer answer. So the first thing you're going to do is just kind of move these around. And you can see sometimes the answers look really crazy. And you can move both the points and it changes the, the rise and the run here and it changes what the answer is over here. All right, so after you've practiced moving it around, um, I think it's toggle points changes it to not being able to um, put it in those decimal points. Now it's snapping it to an integer coordinate, which might be a little bit easier. So it's not called snap points, it's called toggle points. All right, so once you have moved it around a little bit and kind of get an idea how this applet is working, you're going to answer these questions. And these are in your own words. These are not right or wrong answers for the most case. It's just what your observations are. So you're going to answer the first question is, what does the line look like when you have a positive slope? So this is not a positive slope. This is a negative slope. So maybe I'd want to change it first so that it is a positive slope so that I can describe it. You might want to talk about from, from left to right, the line is going which direction. And then same thing for a negative slope. And then it asks you, what does the line look like when you have a slope of zero? So I did not ever get zero here, so I, I would need to continue to play along, around with this until I get a slope of zero. And then the next one is, what happens to the slope when you make a line that is vertical, which I just did. And then they want you to move the point so that A is at 6, 8. Do I have 6, 8 here? No. So let's change this to, and this will be changed on your worksheet for you, 3, 4. That should fit on here. And we'll make point B be at negative 1, 2. So you're going to change one of the points. They aren't labeled A and B. You just get to pick which one's A and which one's B. So at 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, it'd be up here. And then make the other one be at negative 1, 2. That's negative 1. That's negative 2, 1. That's not what I wanted. I want negative 1, 2. So you'd have to adapt that a little bit and then talk about what the slope is. And then question 6 says, once you get this set to the right spot, um, how did you, how would the slope be calculated at that point? 
and you can either talk in terms of rise over run or you can talk in terms of the slope formula. And then there's a couple more questions to fill in. The last one asks you to put the points at this place and find the slope. And then the last part is to step four to make a line that has a slope of plus two, positive two. Take a screenshot of your interactive graph showing the slope and attach your screenshot. So there's several different ways to take a screenshot. The easiest way might be to use the uh, SNP tool. I wonder if I can change my... which looks like a scissors with a little snip by it, snipping tool. So if you go to your Windows menu and search for snipping tool, this is how you would use it. This is the last snip I did, so yours will just have a blank there. And you'll click on New, and then it kind of grays out the screen, but it's still including it. And I wanted to include the, uh, the calculation up there, but I cut it off a little bit. See, I should have included that. And now that I have my SNP, I'm going to copy my SNP, which you do by clicking on these two pieces of paper together, copy. And then over in the worksheet, I can paste, I go to Control V, and it will paste that SNP in there. So when you do yours, try to include the, the slope. It was supposed to be a slope of positive 2, so mine wouldn't be correct anyway. But that gives you an idea of how to use the snipping tool in order to um, make a screenshot. There's other ways to do it, too. If you already know another way, that's fine as well. You can reset this in between every one, and it just goes back to the intro one. If you have any questions or problems on doing this assignment, please let me know or come to my office hours or the times that I'm in the ASC room and I'll be happy to help you out. Or we could even do this together in about 15 minutes. Thanks a lot and have a wonderful day.